Look at the end of that piece of trim. That's a three quarters inch wide, half inch tall with a 10 degree cut. This end is three quarter by three quarter, 10 degree cut. What's the easiest way to do this? Well, there's a few different ways you can do it. By the way, this is Darren with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder remodeler in North Carolina. And one way you could do it is go ahead and hand, freehand it. Go ahead and rip it down, three quarter inch bar, trace yourself a line, freehand it down through there. But it's extremely difficult to freehand a, um, a piece of trim or wood uh, and do a bevel cut. Very, very difficult. The second way is, is to go ahead and do yourself a cut, you know, rip it, that half, um, you know, that taper cut, half to three quarter, and then take a planer and give your, try to get a 10 degree cut. Um, or the third way is the way I do it. So I go ahead, rip myself this, since this is the biggest part, is three quarter by three quarter. I went ahead and just ripped it that way three quarter by three quarter. Then I gave myself a 10 degree cut. Then I marked it back three quarter, half inch, threw my track saw on it. So I don't know how many people know that um, track saws are much more versatile than just uh, cutting up plywood. Um, I, we use them on one by boards all the time. Now they do get a little bit more finicky. I mean, cause you have to have pretty straight trim with this, uh, but you can, um, the, the, this speeds the process way up and for making a trim hey we, we didn't build this uh, uh, screened in porch that we were um, that we're working on if we would have we wouldn't have to be making tapered trim because we, we build things straight and true but this is a good way to get good quality um, uh, cuts like that fast and uh, if you got a couple different length um, track saws you can get it done quick all right so this piece right here, it's like 56 or whatever. So my um, uh, my shorter Makita track really doesn't work. So I had to drop the 2700 uh, uh, Fez tool track on it. But let me show you how to do a shorter version. Well, what I've done, let me grab my board. I'm going to make this one right here. It's uh, 36 and an eighth long, seven eighths. Um, and then of course it's three quarter. I have to put this 10 degree cut on this, but one side of this is going to be 11 16 the other is going to be 7 8 But let's go ahead and get our uh, 10 degree bevel on these two boards. this piece to my finished measurement. Come on up here, grab this. Come on, look right here. So we're roughly trimming uh, eighth to three sixteenths to nothing. Saw it didn't stall my finger. Finger I slipped off the trigger. All right, so that's it right there. Ten degree taper. We got um, a seven eighths from the top of that ten degree to the bottom, and then we got our eleven sixteenths over here. You can't you can't do that ripping it um, by hand that quick. Okay, so once again on that end. 
and seven eighths. Doing seven sixteenths on this end. That should work. And so we gotta flip this around so that way we save it. So we're going taper. Going to there. There. Okay. So if I haven't pointed this out yet, uh, you're going to need a piece of material the same thickness as the material that you're cutting to put under the other side of the track to balance it out. Another huge advantage of cutting with track saw is if you're going from a flush um, portion of the material and then tapering it in, it's extremely difficult to do that with a uh, circular saw or table saw, but not with this track saw. Um, you can see right here that I'm, I'm going down and right, right at this point, if this was a circular saw, it would pop out and you'd have a jagged edge. Okay, so we got, we still got our, we retained our 10 degree bevel. We measure 7 sixteenths there. And we have 7 eighths there. So basically we have two different um, angles. And that's pretty difficult to do on a table saw without a pretty decent jig. Once again, shows you what all you can do with a track saw. Table saw with a track saw or a track saw by itself. Uh, nothing I did there was groundbreaking. I just, I know some people own track saws. Some people are thinking about buying them. And you may not know. You may not know that you can use it for small stuff like that. Those really t small tapered uh, cuts and get really good results with it. So, all right.